Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and today we're answering your questions all about early surgery for asymptomatic aortic stenosis patients. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joanna Chiqui, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. During her fantastic career, Dr. Chiqui has performed thousands of cardiac procedures with many involving heart valve repairs and heart valve replacements. Dr. Chiqui, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you again, Adam. Yeah, Dr. Chiqui, we're answering patient questions today and this one comes in from Carrie. And she asks, hi, Adam. I'm 75 and I was diagnosed with aortic stenosis five years ago. I'm in the waiting room and starting to dial down my life. Not fun. My cardiologist still thinks that I don't have symptoms. What is the latest research on timing aortic stenosis surgery for patients who are mildly symptomatic or asymptomatic? That's a really important question because aortic stenosis of all of the valve problems is one that really doesn't have a great outcome if it's not treated. And traditionally, yes, we used to wait for symptoms before we treat it, but that's really shifted. And I think the latest research, which supports a much more aggressive approach, which means fixing that valve before you feel symptoms is a randomized trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2020. And that really showed better outcomes, better survival in patients who didn't wait until they had symptoms. These days you have two options which you should discuss with your cardiologists. It's not just surgery, transcatheter, aortic valve replacement, TAVA, where the valve is replaced through an artery in your leg, is also a reasonable option for many, many patients. Dr. Chickley, so for Carrie, who is hearing that, mm, hold off a little bit, don't need surgery yet, but she's dialing down her life, what would be your recommendation for her? I think a really clear conversation again with your cardiologist. And for example, your cardiologist may need to see how you feel and how you perform when you exercise in a monitored setting, for example, on a treadmill, that may give them enough information to make a really good decision about early intervention on your valve. Carrie, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Chikwi, as always, thanks for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles and sharing this insight and research with our patient community. Thank you so much, Adam. It is always a pleasure. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.